I love quirky sightseeing adventures. So when I heard about Candleton, Indiana, having the biggest Celtic cross in the world carved from a single piece of rock, you know I had to go. It is situated on a high bluff above the Ohio River in Highway 66 on an easy to miss road, 5330 Blue Heron Lane, seen here. Taking the road up, you'll see a tiny sign to the right. Go that way. You'll see a split. You'll want to go straight. On your right is a large piece of stone you'd dismiss as nothing. But if you stop the car and walk around it, you'll find a beautifully chiseled cross. But this is not the Celtic cross you're looking for. That's further up the hill. At the top of the hill is ample parking. There's a sign to the right saying that the Celtic cross was commissioned by Gary and Lynn Dobby and created by sculptor Greg Harris. What it does not say is that it took Greg nearly two years, 23 months to be exact, to chip it out of a 20 foot tall boulder all by himself. That was a ton of work, pun intended. A sign near the entrance says you can take a car to the Celtic Cross. But I looked down and thought it looked sketchy. I could see the cross, so knew it wasn't a long walk. As I went down, I could see where the rain had washed the road out a little. So I was glad I walked. It took under a minute to get there. It is steep to climb back up, so if you have trouble with steep hills, you'll need something like a jeep. The Celtic Cross is incredibly beautiful and enormously big. To give you a sense of scale, this is middle-aged me at 5 foot 8 inches tall and many burritos later. Up close, on the eastern side of the cross, it has detailed Celtic symbols. You might recognize one from a Led Zeppelin album. The world's largest Celtic cross cut from a single stone is a free and fun roadside attraction. <laughs> 